Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back. It's Simhoi4. We're the provisional Russian government. Pretty much everybody is horrendously fascist or communist. Thankfully, America is still nicely democratic. They're guaranteeing absolutely everybody. Mexico is democratic, even though they had a little bit of a civil war. Australia. India is staying unaligned. Pakistan. Uh, their ruler appears to be broken. Okay. China is chill. I got it when you're finishing films of YouTube. I got really scared you were ending the live. Oh, no worries, Blind Patrick. I'm right here, bud. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. The state of Shenzhen. Okay, that appears to have gone a completely different possibility. What is this? Nationalists? Or... They've got opposition. Amazing. The Chinese Civil War is in full force. All right. Building as much as we can here, but... We also have some pretty... Our tank divisions are actually not terrible. Okay, what is this? Template. Okay, actually, that's a, that's actually a really good template. Okay, that's actually a really good template. Um, isn't am I dominating something? Am I controlling something that isn't actually mine? I feel like I am. Oh, isn't there a garrison map mode that I can see? I thought I had some kind of resistance. Ah, it's here. Let's go for the one that's the cheapest. Okay, cavalry 30. Yeah, man. The heck? You guys are actually pretty good. Five widths with an MP? I'm gonna call this resistance. Perfect. With a big E, because I can't spell. These guys are decent little blockers. We have another Strasoya. But I have doubles of everything. Oh well. A couple motorized. Oh, a really nice mountain division. That can swap, yeah. You send troops to help in China. If I burn the world tensions over 25, you'll cause less than 10 world tension. People tend to blind eye to you. Well, the way people... So the largest world tension is generated is by 26 by me for some reason. I don't know quite understand why. But I apparently did some bad things. So, yay. Ireland has joined the common turn, and the British Empire has declared war on them. Oh my god, what is happening in here? What's going on over there? <laughs> what is the dog doing, guys? I'm going to save some political power now, because I know I can use it quite happily. I'm now finally doing stuff. Oh god, the Polish Senation Junta has joined the Allies. Who are the allies in this instance? Oh my god. Italy and England. Oh, Jesus. So we're going to be in a major war the moment we start a fight, basically. Oh my god. Poland is now in the common turn. Okay. But there are no majors. Oh, France is a major. Crap. All right. Can't wait for this one. This is just insane. Who is in the common turn right now? It's... It's a lot of people. Okay, People's Republic of Hela. Oh, God. Greece is doing things. Mongolia, France, Tanutuva, Yugoslavia, Poland, Romania. Hate to return to its natural state. Perfect. Oh, God. We are absolutely crapping out divisions. It's fantastic. I'm going to catch up my artillery. My production efficiency gain is just so freaking bad. So much. Oh, it's so slow. Repairs. It's okay. I think I'm gonna... Let me build three. We only need so many Sith factories. So, because World Tensions are 84, are they going to join a faction the moment that I attack them? You got the Soviet Navy back. Should I sort it out? I mean, I guess I could train them. Oh, fuck me. I shouldn't swear, but look at this. What is this? I hate this. They've completely bungled it. To be honest, I can just train my Navy if I need it at another point. I don't want to spend the oil. I should train at least some of it. This is actually pain. 
I actually make a lot. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Every boat a separate fleet. Yeah, of course. Look at that, I still make so much oil. Need to remember that though. To be honest, it's probably a good idea to try and make sure that everybody is training anyway. Alright, Return of the Tsar. The injustice visited our nation decades ago has now at last been undone. In a befittingly grand and pompous ceremony within the Dormiton Cathedral, Grand Duke Vladimir Kirovich was crowned Tsar Vladimir to the unbridled elation of the crowds. From here, the Tsar made his first act to lead a procession out from the gates of the Kremlin, greeting his jubilant mass and attending the impressive military march in his honor personally. The new Tsar extolled the virtues of the Russian people and vowed to once again lead the nation a path to reattaining its former glory. Emperor and autocrat of all Russians, war support, resistance growth in our states, occupied enemy, and regrets occupied garrisons. And there we go. We are now a weird little dude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we now have new two dudes. Cons oh, consumer goods. Weekly stability reduction. Oh, ugh. He's trying to, he's trying to reach communism support. No thanks. But uh, Ventiaski, yeah. Oh, fascism support. Ah, gross. Ah, oh, bollocks. No, oh, he's doing fascism support. This would basically make a communist growth, right? I actually don't want this. Wait. Ah, damn it. This is frustrating. I still can't grab this because I don't have enough factories, so that's fine. What is that hair? I know, right? Alright, let's just do the focuses that I know I need. Um, let's grab these guys. I've got political power to burn, and I want to do it. You want know, to use it and get some better consumer goods. Three decades of rule of the Bolsheviks, they saw the day of the return of the Tsar, the Tsar of Vladimir the First. A royal procession through the crowds, the new. Oh god. I'm going to have to memo. After a royal procession through the crowds, the new Tsar spoke to the people, returned to its former glory. You know it, my bud. You know it. Okay, so it does indeed look like I'm going to be at war very soon. Like, in a major war, very soon. So I think we're going to need to think about this carefully. We are crapping out factories. As fast as I'm able to do, so. I'm currently burning through my tanks and artillery. I think maybe we could stop training our tanks now. Let's just try and break everybody up. So we actually don't have much infantry. <laughs> it's not actually that much. Where are you trying to go? Go up there, that's fine. We definitely still need to be training quite a bit. I want to change the mobile warfare. Because I'm going to be using super heavy tanks. A3 not getting decked on. You're... <sighs> you're getting decked on. You're going for an early war. I think you might be right. I think I should probably just hold on. I think I should hold off. I don't want to, but... I think you're 100% right. I need to chill. I don't think I can go to war until I have the beginnings of my super heavy tanks. I don't actually have enough to armies together. I think I just gotta chill out a little bit. That's okay. There's some really good focuses here. I'm trying to get more experience, but I think you're right. I'm just wasting equipment now. So, combat width, what do you think? 20, 22, or 30? I'm thinking just keep it at 20 for now. And just overstack a bit. Can't really raid. Not really a thing that exists. But we have plenty of factories. And that's gonna help out a lot. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big old pile of factories right there. Okay. 
Got three full lines of factories building. So we have three new military factories every few months. Getting experience everywhere. I'm getting lots of new planes, which is good. I'm trying to get a little bit more anti-tank together as well. Now we have some new advisors. The Patriarch of all Moscow and Russia. Now, I'm tempted to not... Okay, one of these is actually really, really good. Which is the one I lose once I get rightful heir to Empire? Ah, oh, consumer goods. So there's actually just more consumer goods here, just everywhere. So going down this route is perfect. So I'm actually going to do this. Unless I now do have enough, I still do not. I need more. So I'm going to keep going down this route to try to get more consumer goods. At last, our nation led Tsar to lead it. Two decades after the persecution of our last rightful duties of the dynasty, embrace our governing dynasty once more, and to do away with minor impediments to the execution of the Tsar's will. This one actually turns Miletios. So I don't want to hire Miletios because I will lose him. And that's this guy, and he's a loser anyway, so that's fine. So, consumer goods and factory output. Incredible. Political power gain, fine. Division recovery rate, so good. Yes, consumer goods and factory output. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good. Bangladesh on Pakistan now. God. I'm still just trying to churn out as many divisions as possible here. I'm starting to think that I, I realize now that some of these are actually not the right template. Ugh. Let's get to my my standard boys. It's tough. Okay. Okay. Just trying to make as many little armies as I can. And that way I know precisely what's happening. Only 68 cis for Russia seems quite low. It is, but remember I had to deal with so freaking much. I can get some more. There are a few factories here and there I can get, aren't there? Yeah. I can pick up three, four, five here and there. You think I should try and get some more civvies? All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna focus on at least one civ line. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. So we're going to have at least one civ line going. I'm happy with that. All right. I'd really like to be able to... You think I should rush the research slot? That's another point, yeah. Well, I'm currently getting the political power gain and the... Oh my god, weekly stability. I don't actually need that. Crap. The research slot is probably a good call. Because there's so much I still need to get. Plus, these are surprisingly good. This would just increase construction speed even further. And free sieves. Alright, once this is done, I'll grab... Well... Once this is done... While there is a research slot I can grab... If I just go two focuses... I get 2% more consumer goods. So you're only one focus. Only one. And there's another three reduction here. No, I'm going to grab the research slot and then go down here because it gets rid of the production efficiency thing and I get construction t bonuses and then I can start doing ornaments. And that's going to help out a ton. Being able to just get rid of some of those consumer goods. There's extra civvies. I don't really need the oil. It's just a little bit of fat. Okay, this isn't actually that good. It's pretty good. It's not that good. Just industry bonuses, maybe. Mainly. This just basically hurts me. But the 5% production efficiency growth is 
pretty nice. I do kind of want that. Consumer goods loss, it hurts, but such it is. Okay, I'm going to go for weapon conversion. Okay, I'm, I still need to get the 39 infantry equipment. Really wish one of these guys wasn't was actually survivable. Well, air doctrines. Oh, because they're all dead. You guys suck. Oh, you were saying the raids with these with the political power. I'm so sorry. I completely ign ignored what you meant. I said the research slot is a bit better than the part that removes the debuff. I think you're right. I think the research slot might be better for us. Yeah, we can actually remove um, the fascism or democracy. To be honest, all it does is increase our thing. We're already at 100% stability. So, like, we don't really need too much. Mm. Uh, get rid of some of the fascism, I suppose. I might get rid of some of the fascism. There you go. France has capitulated. Oh my god. This is mad. What is happening in this game? Dumb. Alright. We're short on artillery and tanks. But we're really starting to catch up on this. Oh, I need to get I have a bunch of stuff that are damaged, I need to get repaired. There you are. Beautiful. That'll do. Alright, advanced machine tools, perfect. Need that cap. I mean the loss of rubber is not ideal, but it's what it is. I think maybe trying to go down the route of going mediums for now is a good idea. Are there any majors left? He was never even the allies to begin with. The allies is now is actually the British Empire and France, weirdly. I don't think we're fighting much until 41. Until we can really quickly crap out a heavy tank armament. Yeah. We're so low on factories. It's very unpleasant. Get as many as possible. Hey, what's up, Flemmy? Not much has happened. We're, we're sitting pretty, basically. Ability is going to be creeping up nicely because once Romanov construction is done, ability and political power gain, which I can't really spend on anything. This would increase my production efficiency growth, but to be honest, again, I don't want it because I really need to just be focusing on building as many factories as possible. Looting a bunch of civvies is terrible for me. I'm going to go for national specialists now. Ah, oh, I could get 5% construction speed. Industrial concern cost. Consumer goods 2% is really nice. But I'm going to go for this one for the design company and get that instead. Let's do that. All right. That's it for the episode. Make sure you leave a like and comment in the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.